Hi, Dorji McKinnon here with another Vajra video series that's helping internet and digital workplace professionals get stuff done. It's pretty short, but it's, I think, very valuable and easy to do. What happened was, let me tell you a story. Um, a few months ago, a friend of mine was showing me uh, Eula on his computer and complaining about the fact that he never read it and just clicked through. I thought, hmm, that's kind of interesting. And a couple of days later, I was prompted to um, agree to a, a Eula, um, uh, an end user license agreement, um, when I went onto a CRM platform that I hadn't used for a long time. And the difference with the Zoho CRM platform was that they actually made it really easy for me to understand what had changed. So that's what I've got here. Um, in this blog post, which you can read later, it talks about some of what happened and, and how um, I had a look at it. But what I wanted to show you was the actual privacy policy. So if I flipped that, in this case, they said, uh, here's our privacy policy. If you want to have a look at it um, as part of the EULA, so there was a little box and said, you know, do you want to see the privacy policy and the changes? And I went, oh, yeah, okay, I clicked. I ended up on this page. And as you can see, it is very, very clear what has been added, in this case, um, the date over here, and what has been removed, this whole section here, what's added, what's removed, what's added, and so on and so forth. It's not rocket science. It would be very easily easy for anyone to do on an intranet, um, and particularly around policies. We all know that um, one of the things that happens with intranets is once your users start getting a little bit more sophisticated, they say, ah, but we know that they went to the internet, therefore we should be able to know that they went to the privacy policy, therefore we should be able to um, say they agreed to the privacy policy. Now, as you and I as digital professionals know, it actually just means that someone who was logged in as them happened to go to that page and didn't necessarily read that page, which is the same problem that software companies have with Euler's. So what I liked about this one, and I'll give you a couple of tips on how you might be able to use it. What I liked about what this one was that it was very, very clear that something had been removed or added to the policy. You know, green, red, simple, pretty much universal colors for um, bad and good. Now that's not, there are some cultural context there, but let's not worry about that for the minute. So how could you use this for your policies on your internet? Well, one of the ways that I've done it in the past is when someone goes to the internet, they're going there to do something. They're going there to fill in their leave request or to look at the news or to do whatever they're going to do. So what we did um, a number of years ago at a company I used to work for was when they arrived at the internet, we had a pop-up screen that was over the top of everything else and it showed them a message and they clicked, um, I have read and understand this message. Now, with our policy example, you could say, uh, these policies have changed, uh, click here to see more detail, or these parts of the policy have changed, click to um, agree that you've been notified about this. You can record the click in a list, um, if you're on SharePoint or in, in a database, if you're on some other system, and all of a sudden you've added the staff who maintain the policies, but you've also made it very clear to staff that if you can um, do something like this, even if it's just a message box on the home page that stops people doing anything until they get through it, or at worst case, it's a news item, but the news item is like this one where it's really spelled out in red and green what has and hasn't changed you're going to be adding some value. Hopefully this is inspiration to help make things better for you and your users. Thanks a lot. Thanks everyone. This has been another Vajra video by me, Dorji McKinnon. If you need some help across the interwebs via desktop sharing or in person, contact me at www.vajra.co.nz. Good luck and happy intraneting.